That's incredibly impressive. Are you freaking kidding me? This really cuts and I really, really like it. <laughs> it's a real pleasure listening to this. That's literally crazy. What the f <laughs> Hey Glamour, I'm Charlie Puth and you sang my song. This is probably like the hardest melody ever written in a song and you killed it. I love your the, the smokiness in your voice. Um, I love that it's mostly like all acapella bass and the drums are your own little You got some attitude in your voice, I like that a lot. And it kind of cuts through all the acapella and vocal drum layers. It's really, really nice. You killed it. I love your the, the smokiness in your voice and the drums are your own little You got some attitude in your voice. I like that a lot. You sang my song. Oh, oh my god. What the f Holy sh I think we're all blushing right now. <laughs> I'm actually pretty numb right now. <laughs> it can feel very overwhelming putting ourselves out there. Sometimes it's really hard to see progress with what we do. I'm like, I'm sitting here feeling like I've, I've never been like more reassured that I'm on the right path now more than ever. It's unreal <laughs> and it's so cool, especially <laughs> since Charlie started on YouTube. I was definitely inspired by his YouTube as this well back in the days. This is a good day. Yeah, oh a good my day. goodness. <laughs> This is a really good day. So thank you, Charlie Poo, if you're thank watching you, Thank you, Glamour. <laughs> thank you, Glamour Magazine. I could possibly die tomorrow happy. You know, like, I'm okay with it. We don't talk anymore. We don't talk anymore. I like the little counterpoint there. Hi, Emma King. I really love the artistic liberties you've taken uh, in the instrumentation here, especially on this pre-chorus here. You're... That's my interpretation of a glockenspiel. Not an easy song to play at all. This is really nice to listen to. It doesn't sound like you quantize it at all. It seems like very minimal, like, after production. It's like very straight to it, so I appreciate that. This really cuts, and I really, really like it. I like the little counterpoint there. <laughs> Hi, Emma King. I really love the artistic liberties you've taken. No way! Instrumentation here. Not an easy song to play. Let me listen to this again. <laughs> this is really nice to listen to. It doesn't sound like you quantize it at all. Emma, you sang my song. Well, technically you played my song, but good on you. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Um, I'm glad he likes the little counterpoint bit that I said. He loves it! <laughs> this is so crazy! I make videos just for the crack and just like, just to muck about a bit and kind of get like four likes from my friends or something like. But he, he's totally right, like there was nothing quantized or it was just all free, free timing, like that's wild. This is crazy! Charlie, thank you so much for taking the time to watch it and for your great feedback and your comments. Yeah, I'll take that on board for everything else that I'll do. Sorry, I'm still trying to breathe here. <laughs> Is it too much that I'm asking for? Can we start over? Can we end this war? I've been taking your love, I've been wasting your time But is there still a chance of me changing your mind before you go walking out the door? I love this. I love the bed of ooze that are uh, uh, overlapped. What does it remind me? It reminds me of Ben Folds 5, kind of uh, the way that he sings, Ben sings Brick. Uh, and I like that you lowered the, the key to A major too. It's a nice choice. Very, very tasteful. The whole recording is like very non-offensive. It's very nice to listen to and very easy to kind of uh, hold on to. And you play guitar too, so you're a multi-instrumentalist. You're very talented. I love your voice. I've been taking 
No freaking way. Mm-hmm. No freaking way. Hey, Jacob. I love this. <laughs> Reminds me of Ben Folds 5. Yes! He sings, Ben sings Brick. Yes, that's my favorite song. And I like that you lowered the, the key to A major. Because I can't sing as high as you because your voice is perfect. Oh, are you serious right now? Are you freaking kidding me? This is really unexpected. I, I put a lot of work into that song because I thought it would just be cool, you know, and I, I did not expect anything like that. I feel really validated. Like, he's helping me become an artist that I am. And to see somebody that you look up to tell you good jobs, wow, I feel really incredible. I've, I've done a few cool things in my life, and this is one of the coolest. And, yeah, it's in the key of A, so got that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm a big fan of yours, and I am a Charlie Puth fan for life now. That's that's how it's gonna go. Please be patient with me. Oh, please be patient with me. I know I'm not what you need. Yeah, I like this a lot. But baby, I'm gonna be so Hi, Kimber. You have such a great voice, and I love the voicings that you're playing on them. On the Rhodes too. I love that you're using a Rhodes, and you're also using my favorite microphone, the SM7, which is what I use to record patient too. So that in itself is very special. I love that you're singing live too. I love that you're not lip syncing. That makes me really happy. And I love that you're playing live too. And the, the, your camera uh, person uh, showed your fingers playing too. You can obviously perform live very well. So good on you. What? Is he watching my cover? You're not using any auto-tune, and I know that you're not using it because you're playing the piano live, so you wouldn't really be able to tune your voice without what the, heck? the <laughs> ambience of the room and catching that in the recording, so it's 100% you, which is awesome. Hey, Kimber, you sang my song. What? <laughs> That's literally crazy. It makes me feel amazing. There are so many artists nowadays that don't sing live. It makes me feel appreciated that you noticed that I don't use autotune. <laughs> Thank you for telling what you liked about it and just being so encouraging and awesome. I really appreciate it. Thanks for listening, Charlie. <laughs> you got me thinking about when you were mine. It's very smooth. You know what's interesting? This is kind of how I envision the song. The melody is kind of in that alto range. <laughs> like meant to be played on an instrument, so this is pretty cool to watch. What's really cool about this is that you're doing my vocal inflictions. I think that's how you say it. The you're kind of mimicking it exactly, which is really great. The way I envisioned this song was not actually as a pop song. It was almost kind of like a classical piece of music. I know this is not a classical piece of music. It's kind of like a smooth jazz take. It's a big compliment too, because it just showed me that you're listening to my voice. And I spent a lot of time working on my vocals on this song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's really cool about this is that you're doing my vocal inflictions, I think that's how you say it, and the way that you're playing the melody is kind of how I intended it to be, and I love the way that you're mirroring the way that I sing the song, my me the melodic structure is really strong. It's a real pleasure listening to this. <laughs> Ooh, it's really amazing, really, really. I, I really wasn't expecting this. When, when I record the videos, I don't imagine who's gonna see them. It's really amazing to really have the opinion of the, of the original creator of the song. I listened clearly to the singer's voice to try to make the intentions the same. I really enjoyed here he, he realized that it's a really great work and I really appreciate that you can share your art and I'm really grateful. Thanks a lot Charlie Poole. Thank you very much. Well, that was really awesome. I think it's, I, I, I think back to like five years ago when I was doing YouTube covers and I never thought in a million years that uh, people would be taking time out of their days and making large and small productions uh, out of songs that I originally thought no one would hear. And, you know, no matter how much success I see, this is always gonna be super humbling and kind of takes me back to the time where I was doing this too. Thank you guys so much for singing my songs.